So welcome to our kitchen. As promised, this is going to be the first episode of me cooking with you. I'll try and do some nice recipes. Today with our first one, we are going to do palmos. Now it's a dish from where we're from. It's dead easy to do. I'm going to try and make it a little bit healthier because as advertised online, they're about 4,000 calories a portion. So we're going to make it a little bit healthier. Not much, but just a little bit. So let's get cracking. So my wonderful assistant Terry is going to put the recipe up on screen. So you'll be able to follow this and like I say, it's one of the easiest things in the world to do. So first off, I've got half an onion, which I'm literally going to slice. Just in uh, big chunks, you're not using it for anything, it's not going to be staining. We're going to be taking this out of the pan before the bechamel sauce is ready. So we'll make the bechamel first, and this is my own recipe for bechamel. Um, you can do it however you want, whatever you're comfortable with. I just find this is really flavoursome, and I've learned some good tips along the way on how to do it. So we've got our half onion in the pan. We're going to add one clove of garlic. All I'm going to do is chop the garlic in half. Again, it won't be staying in there. It's just purely to add some flavour. We have a bay leaf from our garden, just to add that in as well. And we have some nutmeg. Now this was Rob that introduced me to this because I never really put nutmeg in my bechamel before. But when I did, it became delicious. So add as much or as little as you like this. I like just a few scrapes in just so that you get that nice flavour and it, it just enhances it a little bit, makes it taste a little bit better. Get rid of some of my rubbish first. Now it's all nice and easy. So that's us. Now we next need 500ml of milk. Now we don't really drink a lot of um, fresh milk here in France, so you can use fresh milk for it. I find that this works just as well. The sauce comes out just as nice, but if you want a little bit creamier and a little bit more fattening, then you can use whole milk. So 500 ml of milk, which is just short of a pint for our American friends. Into the pan we go. And easy and we also need 50 grams of butter. There we go, 50 grams into the pan. Pop your pan on the simmer. Now while we do the rest of it I'm just going to leave this simmering away. Um, nice low heat just to bring the flavours out. You want it to, I'd like to take as long as possible with the bechamel sauce. But if you want to do it quick you can do it quick and easy in about 10-15 minutes. So in the pan we have our butter, our nutmeg, our half an onion and our garlic and our bay leaf of course. Our 50 grams of butter and 500 ml of milk, just short of a pint of milk. And we're just going to leave it here, um, like I say it's just purely to bring the flavours out in it. Anything big like that I haven't chopped up um, will be taken out, we'll strain it out of it before we add the flour and make it into the actual sauce itself. Next we're going to prepare the chicken. Um, again, dead easy, it takes two minutes to do, and yeah, I'll show you now. So next we come out of the chicken, so I've got a little food bag here, I find this is the easiest way to do it, you can use food bag, you can use cling film, you can use tin foil. What we're going to do is flatten our chicken breast down into a nice escalope. So all you do is literally get your chicken, get a nice fresh chicken breast is always best. Pop it in your bag. And then you just beat it up. And that is it. We have a nice flat chicken breast. You're just looking to get it as, as pretty much even as possible. So when you cook it, you don't have dry bits and stuff like that. So you can do these a lot thinner. I like them about this sort of size. It just gives it a more meaningful bite when you're eating into it, really. And then all we're going to do, dead easy. Now, I tried this yesterday, so this is why I'm changing it. Normally, you deep fry these, but I like to air fry them. Again, we're trying to make it that little bit healthier than, than, than what they normally are. So all you do, chicken breast, 
into some oil. We have our breadcrumbs with herbs. Now I like to use an Italian herb mix. You can use whatever herb suits your taste palette. I just find that this brings the flavor out really well in it. So that's that. So depending on the size of air frying you've got, you can add one or two. We put one in at a time with this one. So best way I've found to do it, grab your chicken breast into the air fryer. Set your air fryer um, to about 180 degrees and I like to leave it on for about 15 minutes and again you'll see it's cooked. We're going to be cooking it again anyway so it, it's good but I like to cook it all the way through first time make sure it's properly done. Give now a bechamel sauce a little stir as the butter's starting to melt in there and again you just want this, I like to do it on a nice low heat just to bring all the flavours out nicely so we can get a nice smoother taste that way and we'll prepare the rest of the chicken breast while we're waiting. stay there simmering away and like I said the longer you leave it the more flavour you're going to have in your actual bechamel sauce. We also need to weigh out 50 grams, 50 grams of plain flour just to go in the sauce itself. just about there. Got absolutely beautiful aroma. Again this is completely up to you how long you've had it on. We've had this on about half an hour now and um, just simmering away nicely and like I say it just the smells are just beautiful coming from it. So what we'll do we'll get all our bits out so our onion, our garlic, our bay leaf all out. So return your mixture which is now just butter and milk back to the pot. Next step we're going to slowly add the flour to it because we don't want it to be clumpy and horrible and gooey we just want to make a nice sauce. So we're literally we've got our 50 grams of flour. Slow mix in. And again, you don't have to do this and spend the time doing it. If you want, you can buy a store-made bechamel sauce. This is just, I find this one's far nicer, just far tastier. But for, for time and convenience, you can just buy a, a store-bought one. It's not a problem at all. So, air fry is just dinged, ready with the first one, and that's what you're aiming for. A nice golden brown all over, um, it'll be pretty much cooked, so we're happy with that, and then we can move on to the next step, get the next one in and ready. Final stage, fourth one's cooked, so now we're going to dress the palmos. So 
we have our four pound molds ready. Next job, get the bechamel sauce on. Again, this is a personal preference. Add as much or as little as you like in this. We like a nice thick topping on our palmos. Give it a nice good covering all over. So depending on how much bechamel sauce you use, there's a good portion there. There's a little bit left over, so what we can do is we can freeze that. So we'll bag it up, freeze it, throw it in the freezer. The next time we come to make palmos, we can completely skip this step. Nice and easy. And this next step is my favourite step because I get to eat all the cheese while I'm doing it. So, again, a totally personal preference on this one. We like cheddar and emmental and mozzarella on ours, so that's exactly what we're going to put on. So I've got a nice three cheese mix. So we've got all our cheese on. I'm also going to add some more herbs to the top as well because I just like that extra bit of flavouring. Once I've done that, we are going to wrap them up and finish it off at our guest house. So they're nice and fresh. So that's them all wrapped, all prepared. So let's get them to our guests and finish them off. So we're here, we've come to see some good friends that have never had palmos before so I've been promising them for ages that I'm going to cook them a palmo. So I've cooked them some palmos, we just need to throw them in the oven and yeah we'll have some lovely palmos for tea. Come on. So here's what I prepared earlier. So these are going to go in the oven now at around gas mark 200, um, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, perfect for them. So they're nice and crispy brown on top and I'm going to throw some wedges in with them just to go along with things and stuff. There we are, 20 minutes and we'll all be eating. So the moment of truth, let's see what they've turned out like. Look at that. Exactly what I was planning for. Can you get them off the baking tray now? So I know someone had commented that these would be about 4,000 calories each. These ones are only about 3,800, so they're far healthier for you, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to serve it with wedges. You can serve it with salads as well if you want to be healthy, but there's really no point when they taste this good. Let's go and serve our guests. For palmos. <laughs> You're gonna test what it is though. It's a palmo, it's a chicken escalope. Because <laughs> Carol loves that word. Escalope. Flattened, covered in bechamel sauce, then half a pound of cheese on each of them. So with potato wedges, like I say, you can do salad if you want to be healthy, but there's really no point with this dish. So I'm waiting for yours. I'm coming. Uh. <laughs> so we're gonna get out of this now. Hope you really enjoyed this video. If you do like it, let us know in the comments and we'll do more cooking videos for you going forward. If you've enjoyed today's show, click the like button. Remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button for notifications. Until then, I'm going to enjoy my food and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.